box. In today's video tutorial, I am going to show you how to create 3D model based on the sketch and sketch region. We will create this 3D model and base dimension will be 20. So for example, 3 per 20 is 60. I will create new model and we will create new sketch. Sketch plane will be front and if I will come from middle button, system allow to me to jump to, to the orientation. I don't want to see the display plane, so we can switch off and we will focus on the base shape. The base shape is symmetric, so you can create first of all the center line and then you can create your shape. Specify shape and if possible select and mirror around the center line. Then you can continue with the circle for example, yeah, or you can create arc, it's up to you. I think that create a circle is really easy and we can delete unnecessary edges. You can see that we have here a couple of dimensions, yeah, and for example I'd like to use and leave based on the picture, yeah, so this dimension, another one, and so on, and so on. So I will reuse a couple of them, and if necessary, we will specify the new one. This dimension is OK, and this second dimension is again OK, and I like to reuse this one, and we will create new, which will define the or base dimension. I will select right now everything, and again, I will reuse the modified dimension and we will lock scale. For what is it good? Based on any dimension, you can automatically scale all additional dimensions. So it's really great and really quick. So this base dimension is 92. And if I will confirm, then I can really easy to modify as I need. So for example, this one will be 60 and step by step you can continue or you can select the dimensions again modify but right now I will use only regenerate value and I will continue for example 17 this dimension will be 16 4 and last one will be 15. This is based on the sketch what I've prepared here so everything looks good. The sketch is done but we would like to, for example, confirm and we will create new sketch. New sketch will be created as the previous sketch plane. And over here, we will select the reference, this circle or arc. And then over here, I would like to create new sketch. It will be only as the whole and for example, dimension 20. It's good enough. Not necessary create new one. I can come from OK or maybe we would like to place here more sketchy so I'd like to show you that if you will combine here and you will create new line because I would like to maybe close it because it's much better to see the shape so you can combine the sketches sometimes it's open and sometimes it's closed and if you use the standard extrude feature it's not possible to use and combine open and close sketches but please stay tuned and I will show you more. The shape of the model is really easy and I'd like to show you that right now you can select drop down menu and you can use the sketch region. What does it mean? The system allow to you which kind of region you would like to extrude. So for example we can select all of them yeah one control second and control third you can use the extrude feature and right now you can specify which side you would like to use yeah or you can select and specify the symmetric and set custom dimensions so for example 32 great and again you can continue with the sketch region because you know that over here is the sketch what we have prepared and I like to create extrude feature and Again, we would like to extrude on the one side through all 
and on the opposite side, so side 2 will be again through all. Yeah, so simply and easy you can reuse the existing sketches and again this one you can select and again you can use the extrude feature and specify the depth through all and for example to select it you don't need to always select the through all but I'd like to show you that it's possible to use for example to select it same for here for the first side you can use the to select it and confirm what does it mean and how the system understand to select it through all and so on please try to check my previous tutorial and you will understand the option depth for the extrude feature for example for holes so right now you can see that i have created base shape based on the two sketches the first one was combined closed loops and open close and second one was only simple circle fine you would like to continue yes of course so we would like to continue with round feature and right now I would like to use this edge with control button second edge and if you use the right mouse button it's possible to use and select full round yes perfect the first round is ready and you can continue with the second side you can again if you will select here you have a set one if you will select set two you can continue with edges or I'd like to show you how to create full round based on the surfaces. So I don't want to select edge, but I will select surface, another surface, and the system automatically recognizes that it is necessary to create a full round. And over here on the bottom, select surface to replace the full round. So please select the last surface. And right now we have two options. The first set is created based on the edges, full round, and the second one is based on three selected surfaces. Great. What we need, what we miss, is the two holes. And we can continue. For example, you would like to create the axis. So if you select the surface, the system automatically plays the axis where you want. And I will switch on the visualization of the axis and if I will use the on the opposite direction select surface and confirm OK. Two axes are ready we can create two holes. For example yeah we would like to create a sketch on left hand side and as the reference I will select axis and based on this axis I will create a simple sketch and diameter will be 14. If you are in the sketch you can directly reuse again the center line and make a mirror of existing geometry for example this circle and under the, under the sketch is ready please confirm and again if you have a sketch region you can create and select region first one with control button or you can continue and with control button you can select everything and again you can use the extrude feature for example yeah we would like to go downstairs system automatically recognize that we would like to remove and i'd like to remove to select it and we'll remove up to here perfect 3d model is ready and you can hide the sketches yeah and the system in future will show you this information because you need to jump into layer and you would like to save status for the layer what does it mean the system will remember that your sketch was saved yeah the axis and everything was the visualization and these sketches was hidden okay and at the end we will specify the color for example this one and you can simply change apply what you want I hope so did you like this example how to use the sketch and sketch region for the simple model stay tuned
and bye-bye. Adieu.